This year's block auction has definitely sparked controversy after Omar and Oz netted a record payday at auction with their house while others failed to sell. Tonight, the boys respond to their critics. I've never been so gobsmacked in my life, nah. to be honest. Um, I was just, I was good just on it. And I, I've always got something to say, and I was like... We did not think that was going to happen. That was, like, crazy. They're all mates, and unfortunately, we don't have any millionaire mates. It's just mind-blowing. Everyone that bidded were more than happy to walk away with that home. So it is what it is. Never before has a block auction had the country talking like this one. A record-setting price for house number five and two properties passed in. So how do the blockheads feel about this history-making night of Australian television and have the two unsold houses found a buyer? In Melbourne, Tom the plumber and social worker Sarah Jane are back home with daughter Cleo. We're still grateful, still got no regrets. And uh, she's back to plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dunny on block, mate. Give me a yell. <laughs> Sarah Jane still wearing the mockies she slipped into after ditching her heels post-auction. That I actually bought them while I was in Gizman because my tootsies were cold. Um, but I had been in those heels for about three hours at that stage, that and I was time. like, oh, it was I way just... longer than that. <laughs> no, comfort. Comfort over beauty. The sale of their house didn't go as planned, leaving them with $20,000. But they're now focusing on the happy memories from the block. First time I've ever been on a helicopter. Like, they True. took us to a, to a vineyard on the show. I've been to the birdcage. There's been so many good things to come from this. Like, yeah. so, I don't know, we're, we're still stoked. Rachel and Ryan are back with their three kids in Sydney after winning $170,000. We're so grateful. Uh, to, to get that result, we couldn't be more thankful. While back in Gisborne, Sharon awaits a buyer for House 3 with her blue staffy, Bosco. I've got Bosco in proxy for Unks. <laughs> he's the heart of our family, so it just makes sense that he's here with us today. And he's obsessed with you, so <laughs> it works out well. I, I don't get that often. Uncle's back at work, but buyers are still coming to see the house after it passed in on the weekend. So we're discussing options with them today, and we've had, we're having two new buyers. We've had one already, another one coming in to see the property. Sharon and Uncle chose to pass in their property after the first auction blew everyone away. House number five, built by Omar and Oz, selling at $1.5 million above reserve, thanks to a bidding war between Melbourne millionaires Danny Wallace and Adrian Portelli. The only way I can describe it is it was a clash of the egos. The bidding war raising questions about Omar and Oz's relationship with Portelli. I wasn't surprised because I seen the boys were hanging out with that guy a few weeks before the auction and they were at his house and they were in a spa together. We were just, I guess, we just had to wait and see on the day if people turned up. Popular duo from House 4, Jenny and Dylan, also had their property passed in. But given it's the largest land parcel on the block, word is buyers are keen. It's six bed, four bath. Yeah, six so bed, four bath. Six all the boxes. 13 acres, more than, well, everyone else has got 10, we've got 13 acres, so it only makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> As for Omar and Oz, their win of $1.6 million is a block record that may never be beaten. We put in work, not only the build, we put in work afterwards. Um, we reached out to so many people, um, we were non stop, so um, their hard work does pay off. The pair happily admit they built a relationship with Portelli leading up to the auction, but to the critics they say this was simply smart networking and Portelli was not a dummy bidder. Well, I feel like it happens in uh, this country a lot where um, you do so well and um, the next day you're here trying to justify why you won. Uh, it's unfortunate because we do deserve it and we did so well. Let's go! <laughs>